Hi, this is just a basic example of how to use the LCD library with Swordfish. It's very simple to use and the hardest part is probably getting the options right at the start. So here's the three options that you have to define for any normal LCD. I've got the LCD underscore data defined as port D pin 4. If I go to my wiring diagram, you can see port D pin 4 connects to D4 on the LCD. Check your data sheet on your LCD but it should be somewhere like just right on pin 11. LCD underscore EN is defined as port D pin 3. So the EN is enable and it can be an E, EN. Just check your data sheet for your LCD and you can see I've connected it to D3. And RS, which is just identified as RS here, through to port D pin 2. The potentiometer connects uh, pin 3 or BEE. It'll be listed on your data sheet for your for your LCD, but that's your con contrast control. Hook this up to a 4.7 to 10k potentiometer between 5 volts and earth, and you can wind it through to, to see uh, that will change the contrast of your LCD. A handy handy way to start is when you've got power applied with no pick micro connected. Uh, wind it down until you get to a point where that just blocks on the screen you can see two rows of just squares and when you can when you can see that just wind it back up a little bit until they just start to fade ever so slightly that should be about the right contrast setting to be able to read things on the screen and then when you hook up your pick micro uh, you'll know for sure if you can see uh, real information or just gibberish VSS is connected to earth which is pin 1 and pin 2 is connected to 5 volts but once again just check your data sheet keep in mind this is simulation and the oscillator and the power isn't shown on the pink micro so my program is going to use a couple of different um, modules obviously the LCD and convert.bass I'm going to use a variable to, to give an example of how to use the uh, convert.bass and to start off with it's important at the start of your program to have a small delay of about 100 150 milliseconds it'll be in the data sheet for the LCD just to let it warm up and go through the startup cycle and then send through the lcd.cls which clears the screen and removes the uh, any uh, blocks on the screen that might be there by default so to start off with I'm going to send uh, some just some text at row 1 position 1 uh, hello world and I'm going to reset variable to zero and create an infinite loop I'm just going to increment the variable and at row 2 position 1 I'm going to use convert decimal to string variable comma 5 so this is going to ensure that uh, the whatever it converts variable into will take up five positions so if it was one there would be four zeros followed by a one but if it was 10, that would be three zeros followed by a 1, then a 0. And then a delay 1000 milliseconds just to slow things down a little bit. So I'll compile that. And back to my simulation software. As you can see, it's displayed hello world at the top and it's incrementing the, the number up. And as it rolls over to 10, there will only be three leading zeros. So this is a handy way to make sure that you're not uh, you're always removing old data off the screen with numbers. Okay, so hopefully I've covered a couple of aspects. Any questions, have a look in the Swordfish help file, uh, my site or online. Thanks for that.